Let's get more now on our top story, the latest test by North Korea. And joining me now from Sydney is Leonid Petrov. He's a North Korea researcher at the Australia's National University and author of North Korea's Quiet Transformation. All right, Leonid, thank you very much for your time today, or tonight, I should say, by the look of where you are. Now, how much of this claim can we believe? And does it really mark a significant step forward in North Korea's weapons program? Good evening. Well, yes, indeed, it's a worrisome sign, but what do you expect if you don't talk to North Koreans, uh, if you corner them, if you intimidate them? Well, they have very little uh, options, but simply go ahead and continue and perfect their programs, both intercontinental ballistic missiles, short, uh, medium range missiles. Uh, they also test uh, their nuclear weapons. Uh, in January, the thermonuclear device was detonated. And it looks like these new technologies um, are permitting North Koreans to uh, develop a much smaller payload to put on the top of their uh, intercontinental ballistic missile, which, which sounds pretty scary for even residents of other continents. So that's why the, this uh, new test of engine um, for the ICBM may sound like uh, something which is directed at the United States, at mainland, possibly Australia. But even the neighbors are also very nervous about what may be happening because uh, North Korean uh, missile technologies are not well tested. Um, they can launch the uh, rockets, um, they even uh, can put the satellites into orbits, but they haven't uh, had yet um, practiced the re-entry. So the payload uh, landing somewhere which is uh, not designed may be even more damaging than uh, something what North Koreans promised to do. And I mean, North Korea wants to badly neg negotiate with the US. So why does North Korea continue to openly threaten the US and, you know, South Korea and Japan? What do they gain from it? Well, first of all, North Koreans badly need a direct dialogue with the United States because they believe that the conflict is not between North and South Korea, but between Pyongyang and Washington. But there's more complexity to that because North Korean regime uh, has been for more than six decades uh, living on the piles of lies. And they know that if they open up their country, um, the domestic uh, situation may be destabilized. And they constantly need to prove to this population that they live in the uh, hostile uh, surrounding. The, the, um, the environment is not fair to the, to the North Korean people. And the leadership is absolutely great. So from day to day, uh, Kim Jong-un uh, needs to prove that he is a smart, uh, very powerful leader who uh, knows what he's doing doing the thing into the strategic and strategic uh, programs such as uh, nuclear and uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles and that if any attempt to topple the regime uh, take place then uh, North Korea can defend itself so it, uh, it gives assurance to the people of North Korea that they live in more or less stable environment but also it gives the opportunity for the North Korean regime to keep to stay isolated because every time they detonate something every time they launch a rocket the international community puts more sanctions against them stop trading uh, inter uh, connect uh, severs the bank uh, connections and for North Korea it's a perfect uh, development uh, for maintaining the uh, ideological supremacy of the Chuchia ideology and keep people isolated and misinformed about what's going on in the world so it basically by uh, imposing more sanctions we buying more uh, giving more time to to the regime and uh, North Korea for North Korea is just a win-win situation they uh, produce more strategic weapons uh, they uh, keep the regime stable but uh, for the United States it's also there's some benefits where they know that they are um, uh, their alliance with um, South Korean and uh, Japanese partners is going stronger every day because North Koreans keep sending threats so it's a, a, a negative interdependence what uh, it has been going it's uh, for already six decades, this continuation of Cold War okay. mentality, paranoia, yeah. which is uh, right. well uh, founded on the uh -huh. commercial interests of North Korean regime and the anti-North Korean mm -hmm. coalition. Yeah. All right, Leonid, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your contributions there. That's Leonid Petrov from ANU.